Hello everybody, today we are removing the hydraulic pump on the 4960. Uh, probably going to end up replacing it just because, well, we'll see exactly what's leaking once we get it off, but from what I can tell that's leaking, probably going to be replacing it because pumps are really hard to keep from leaking. We got the fuel tank off and um, I couldn't find any resources on how to take it off, so I'm going to show you guys what I did real quick. There was a... Um, Underneath the tank, there was two bolts, uh, these short little ones, and they were in here on both sides, and then the tank itself has two long studs that go all the way down through the frame in these holes, and they were held on by a nut and washer down there. These are 15 sixteenths, and the bolt came off with a three-quarter. So now we'll be taking various lines off, and from what I can tell online, you have to remove both the oil cooler and the radiator. And we're going to then put the A-frame over and pull the pump. Here is the hydraulic pump removed from the tractor. Um, it was pretty simple once we got the radiator off. Everything was exposed. There was i uh, I'll show you. This is the coupler to the hydraulic pump. There's this rubber grip thing that goes in between. I'm going to replace this because it's pretty cracked and dried out. So I don't want that to break in another couple years and then have to do all this again. But it goes on there and then the hydraulic pump hooks on with these two bolts. And, whoop, I'm lucky that didn't fall in that big bucket of coolant. And then there was a bolt here, another one underneath it, a longer one, and same on the other side. And that's all that physically holds the pump in. It's more or less suspended in this area with that big cast bracket. Um, you have this little line right here to take off the bottom of the pump as well as this line here to take off of the pump. Getting kind of dirty there. I gotta clean all this up. It was completely packed with crud under the pump. Um, there is, I believe those are the only physical lines coming out of the pump. Once you have the oil cooler out, you've already disconnected the lines on top of the pump. So those are disconnected already. And that is, that's really all that holds the hydraulic pump in. The the grunt of this project is just getting the fuel tank and the oil cooler and the radiator off. That's the worst part. I just had this off in under an hour this morning, and I had to pull the radiator out still this morning as well. So not too bad. So the plan is with this is we're going to probably finish taking like this line off. I think we got to take this off, and I don't know about this piece, and then probably take the cast off as well as the drive and then send this out it was leaking it wasn't a main from I don't understand these pumps very well anyway but it was leaking on the bottom side let me show you in a sec here it was leaking down here either out of this I, or this hex thing here or this one is the one of these three options here so they all look like they have I don't know if they've been rebuilt in the past or not there's like a gasket thing on there that looks fairly new but from what dad tells me this hasn't been pulled out this tractor has 7300 hours on it so that's a lot of time to run one pump so we may end up dropping a new pump in this thing I don't know we'll see what deer says 
see if we can source information other places and see what we get. And then we'll All return right, to this. I think that is going to call a wrap on this video. And then uh, probably return for putting it in. I don't know. Uh, let me know down below if you want to see reinstallment of this pump. And I'll bring you that video if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.